I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. We now know what is making several dairy cows sick in the Southern Plains. Public health officials determining the cattle were sickened with highly pathogenic avian influenza, commonly known as bird flu. Officials finding three positive samples of the illness carried by wild birds were found in unpasteurized milk samples in Kansas and Texas. However, USDA wants to emphasize there is no concern about the safety of the nation's milk supply or that this poses a risk to consumer health. The good news is, is that this virus, like many viruses, uh, is 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 destroyed by heat. And so cooking beef to the appropriate temperature or only consuming pasteurized milk remains safe. McDonald's says it plans to sell Krispy Kreme donuts nationwide by the end of 2026. However, it will start rolling out the pastries in some markets later this year. Now the move will make McDonald's the exclusive fast food partner of Krispy Kreme here in the U.S as the donut maker works to increase its distribution globally. A longtime favorite item at Trader Joe's is seeing higher prices, individual bananas, which sold for 19 cents each for more than 20 years, now cost 23 cents each. That's a more than 20% bump. A Trader Joe's spokesperson says a change in cost for the national chain made the price hike necessary. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com.